Welcome to Peyton James and Aunt Carla's Toy Review. Today, we have a review of the 1964... The Original Farmer Says the Insane. Original Farmer Says the Insane. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's not my real voice. <laughs> Which is in fabulous condition, as you can see. Now, here's Peyton James to tell you all about it. So, these are very rare to find in working condition. Um, usually most of the time they have problems where, um, this is a really common problem where, um, there's a, the band on the inside, um, Does it break? that goes over the voice box, and over time those will crack and stuff, and what'll happen is when you pull the string, it goes in really fast and it spins really fast and it no sound comes out, which is a really common problem with the 1964 ones. Yet this one works really good. Um, this was the very first Farmer Says Sensei made. It's an original one. And it's, it's vintage. And this actually came out when my Aunt Carla turned one year old, which is unbelievable, um, 1964. Um, now, it's got the farmer and the pig in the center, and you know how a CNC works. You don't have to, but let's say you set it to the pig. Should be able to pull it. Sometimes they're off slightly, um, but you got to pull it gently. This is a pig, so it landed in, it's like in between the dog and the sheep. Let's see where it thinks it is. The sheep goes. So it landed on the rooster. This CNC actually does have a small problem, which I'll get to in a moment. The rooster says. Everything plays perfectly. The tracks play perfectly. This is a pig, so it lands on a lands on a cow. Pig again. This is a pig. And um, the problem with this one is that. The rooster and the coyote are right next to each other. So here's the rooster. The rooster says. Now our problem is right here. Every time we point it to the coyote, this is what it does. The rooster says. So that's the problem with this one. Other than that, it works perfectly. And um, these ran mechanically all mechanical and they have a record player on the inside not no batteries required or anything now um they're like a miniature record player now you might be thinking about how the later ones they switched to the lever on the side that you press down people say you pull it down but i don't think that sounds right to pull it you press it down mm -hmm. um but you're probably you're um, guess is probably that these pull strings were a choking hazard. Actually, surprisingly, that wasn't the case of why they changed the pull string to the lever. A Rhode Island girl was playing with her CNC, and she got really unlucky, and the string had snapped off, because these are really thin. The string had snapped off in her face, which caused her to go blind. I really don't know how. This is very light plastic. Um, I guess it could have had to do with the string. Because um, it kind of snapped on her like a rubber band. Mm -hmm. When you break one and it springs back real fast. Um, but that's why they changed the ones to the levers. For I don't know why they changed the style. The styles of them were different. I guess just to look cooler. But um, in my opinion, these are the coolest. 
and on the it has the yellow and the blue and that cool Mattel picture on the mm -hmm. back. Can you, can you guys see it? Yes. It's got the kids here with the cat and the Mattel logo down here. 1964, or C, which probably stands for copyright, then 1964, Patel Inc., Mexico. Um, you might see it, you might not, but um, it's also got, like, these little dents. It's really cool, um, and I guess we'll do That about wraps it up, right, Peyton? Right. Stay tuned for our next video. Yeah, that was our fourth video. Till then, play on. Bye-bye.